What's up YouTube? Um, I have not made a video in forever. So I'm doing a pool day today with Ezra. I think Ezra's doing a push day, so like bench. I'm deadlifting, but I'm going significantly uh, lighter than normal because I'm on a deload week. So I'm doing a four by two with probably, probably like 385. After this deload week, I'm hoping to hit something decently heavy next week. Um, I'm having a little lower back pain slash upper butt pain. I think it's my SI joint. I think it's like inflamed. I'm gonna stop talking and get into this workout. Easy. Easy. Let's go. Two more. One more. Let's go. Up. What's up, guys? The workout just finished. Um, Ezra hit three PRs. 225 for two on bench, 225 for four on squat, even though he could have kept going. And then he hit 205 for four on... Um, bench my deadlifts felt okay could have felt better but I, my hamstrings were super tight from yesterday I killed them on my leg day and I changed up my training one day is gonna be more hamstring focused for my leg day and the next day is gonna be more quad focused follow me at jlfit77 in the description what's up YouTube um, today we just did a push day did some incline bench as you can see we're warming up right now I wanted to do 185 for a two by six, and this is Ezra hitting it for a single, which is a PR for him. So that's extremely good. And now here's me doing a two by six with 185. And this is technically a PR for me, an all time PR. A few, like a month ago, I could only hit it for like three. So a two by six is a pretty big accomplishment. I hit a two by three with 205 last week. So here's another set, my second set of 185. And then as you guys are gonna see after this clip, Ezra decided to do deadlifts as well. He switched his form from conventional over to sumo recently and his sumo form is getting pretty dang good. But this is him doing beltless, uh, 275 for I think three, but he can hit 335 for like a double with a belt on. And yeah, his form's looking pretty dang good. Lockout clean. Here's me doing some dumbbell presses. I usually do flat dumbbell if I'm doing an incline barbell press. And if I'm doing flat barbell press that day, then I'll do incline on dumbbell. I try to do at least one incline and one flat each session. And um, yeah, here's, I think, I believe it's the 85 pound dumbbells. Not the heaviest I've ever done, but my form is looking very good right now like it's pretty strict before it was kind of just like wobbly but now the forms looking pretty good here's me doing some cable flies I think I did four sets of 12 and these are very good for isolating the chest and I usually incorporate them every chest slash shoulder workout here's Ezra and I hitting some shoulders some Arnold presses some dumbbell lateral raises
and that was a struggle, that last rep there. I usually increase the weight each set for my dumbbell laterals, but you guys can do it however you want, 4 sets of 12. Um, and then after, on a normal chest day, I'll do 3 exercises for chest, 2 exercises for shoulder, and then 1 bicep and 1 tricep. So as you guys see after this clip, we're doing some, um, I don't even know what you'd call these, rope curls, tricep, no not tricep, bicep, rope curls. And yeah, that's pretty much what we did for our workout. You guys are free to try this and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later. Peace out.